Welcome back to LimQ Plus, everyone. On this channel, I'm 100%ing Breath of the Wild by a bit every day until Tears of the Kingdom comes out, which is today in 22 days. We are waiting for Dinral right now. He's gonna show up any second now. And by that, I mean probably within the next three or four hours. And I thought I would use this to actually rent today for once. I've recently been uh, educated about the fact what renting actually means. I feel like sometimes I misuse the word because rambling is more what I do on this channel. But today, it's a little bit of a rant and a little bit of a reminder, I think, to anyone um, and everyone what time we are in right now, how that's a very precious time, and how to treat other people. I think I'm mainly talking about, so what I'm going to be talking about is uh, social media, Discord, Twitter, etc. Communities that are currently discussing and theorizing the story and lore for Tears of the Kingdom. And I get it. The point I'm going to make is we have to be a little bit more, whenever you do interact and engage with discussions and theories like this, just keep in mind to be respectful. I think for me personally, I get where potential, um, where the potential of being rude and the potential to kind of talk down to some people comes from. You have your own theory that you get really excited about, it makes sense for you, and then somebody else tells you, no, this makes no sense because this and this. And they might have entirely valid points and theories of their own as to why they would discredit your theory. And it gets heated easily. Like, I get excited about theories, somebody has good points as to why they not be true, and it feels kind of bad. And the other way around as well, like, you see somebody's theory you personally disagree with because it doesn't make sense to you, it kind of, like, conflicts with things that you personally believe about, uh, I guess we can, like, wind bomb around a bit, about the game. And I have to remind myself, and I'm trying my best, and I think we all should, to just be respectful. Everyone is gonna have their own opinion about the game, their own theory. Even if they don't make sense to you, and you believe them to be wrong, you can try to point out reasons you don't believe so respectfully, but try to not be aggressive, or try to not be... Try to not, like, make fun of them, or whatever. It just doesn't make sense. And what I kind of wanted to remind us all about is, yes, Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in 22 days, which is great. Um, we will be playing the game. This happens only once every like six years that we get a mainline Zelda game, and that's what we're excited about. But honestly, the time that we are in right now is also incredibly precious, in my opinion. The time that we are in right now is also only happening once every six years. Because this is the time where we are all able to theorize and imagine what the game is going to be about and how the game is going to play and feel and i think that's an incredibly precious time because the second tears of the kingdom is actually out the second we can play it and the second we see what the game is about sure we can still theorize some in-depth lore stuff and the origins and, and how people did with this game right you can like go more in depth into topics but this entire theorizing thing is over because you just know. At this point, you're either just telling people what you see in the game, the, what the game is actually like, the truth of the game, or you're just straight up, like, making up your own story. The second you actually see what the game is about, the second the reality hits you, you, are, you won't be able to theorize anymore. So I think we should just enjoy this time. And I know, by the way, for sure, uh, that a lot of people want to just not engage with this in general because they don't even want to put their brain in that place where they start thinking about theories. And that's completely respectable and completely fine. I completely understand that as well. Um, if that's what you want to do, then I, I understand it completely. Um, some people have already like uninstalled social media, gotten out of discords, muted stuff on Twitter. It makes sense to me completely. But if it's fun, like it is for me and for many others, then I also don't think you should pay shame people for that. Like I've got multiple comments of people telling me, why would you do this, ruin the experience for you? I don't ruin the experience for me though. I think that's the important part because to me, what becomes really interesting is, um, yeah, finding theories, uh, having, I what? What happened there? I guess I've never shot Dinral before. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I just missed, that's also possible. Um. To me personally, it's fun. I'm having a great time and I can't wait to play the game and see how much I got wrong. Because I'm sure that most of the theories won't play out exactly the way I'm thinking about them. Some of them will be and that's cool, but it's almost like more exciting to be wrong in a way. Uh, because you had a theory and then you're proven to be wrong, but it's also cool to be right about something. In general, I think if it's fun for people to do, if people enjoy thinking about the story and it's without like straight up leaks because again that's the territory where it's actually confirmed that it's no longer straight theorizing using 
um, stuff like the trailer, I think it's completely fine. And um, if people enjoy doing that, they should do that. If people don't want to do that, they shouldn't. And if you are engaging in any sort of discussion and your theory conflicts with someone else, try to be respectful. Try to not necessarily full on... Like, if they don't want to be persuaded, they don't want to be persuaded. And that makes... that's fine. Um, and I get it. I get where the heat comes from. A lot of us are some of the biggest fans of the series, so we're super passionate about it, super excited. And maybe you discovered a theory that you think makes a lot of sense, is awesome, and somebody else tells you it's unlikely for whatever reason. And then I get it, right? Um, I get that there's some emotion maybe coming up in you, but try to, you know, temper it and remember this is about fun. This is not about um, being the most correct person. Maybe, maybe it is for somebody that's super competitive about it, but like that doesn't mean that you don't, that you can't be respectful. You know, even in competitive sports, some amount of respect is expected from you. I kind of just wanted to do rant about that today um, because I see that I feel like everywhere I go from my streams sometimes to uh, my, not necessarily my Discord server, but Discord servers in general and social media. So if you are, again, this is kind of just my point. Treasure this time, enjoy it and stay respectful. I think this is an awesome time that we won't get back for some time. And that being said, let me know your craziest Tears of the Kingdom theories. I'm going to read them and take them for what they are worth. Maybe some of them I like, some of them I think are unlikely to happen, but it doesn't matter. It's awesome to see people passionate and excited for the game. And with that being said, we did exactly one shrine again today. I will be going over to the flight range and then eventually maybe the shield serve shrine, both in one recording tomorrow, because this is kind of the topic I wanted to cover today. We're getting really close, 99.42% here. I think I have about... Yeah, I have five shrines left, right? Yeah, five DLC shrines and then the final trial and then at the very end... We're gonna go to the Zonai Ruins. Thank you for watching. Tears of the Kingdom will be out in 21 days tomorrow, which is absolutely ridiculous. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.